Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jersey Bay Shore Country. I'm your host, John Schneider, and today we have a very special show. In fact, it's a game show to test your knowledge about how much you know. The name of the show is... What do you know about the Jersey Bay Shore in 48 questions? And you can play along at home. See how many you get right. Here's the first one. Where are we? I think we're up kind of high. Here a plane up there in the in the sky. And you see something across the water there. What do you where do you think we are? Now they're gonna get a little bit harder as we go along, but we'll we'll Yeah, Mount Mitchell. We're looking at Sandy Hook and that's Sandy Hook Bay right there. Okay, this is a tough one. What is this place and where is it located? Now that that water tower there is a clue. You can see that water tower from one of the towns in the Jersey Bay Shore. A couple of birds making that water tower their temporary home. Any idea? Again, this is a tough one. It's the historic Aero Marine Plant and Keyport. This is where the first successful seaplane was built quite a while ago. All right, let's do another one here. Where are we and what is this? Ah, any idea? Looks like a residential neighborhood. Steps going up. What do you think it is? Oh, come on, you know. Here we go. Hey, it's the old stone bridge of the Uninokoi Bridge in Atlantic Highlands. It's quite old, actually. It's been there for a long time. Let's see if we can see when it was built, 1896. Okay, here we go. Here's your next question. You ready? Ha, ha, ha. Surely you know this. All right, what and where is this? Now, give me the correct name of that specific thing, and where is it located? Oh, there must have been a gun there at one time. Yeah, Battery Lewis, built in 1942. Now, where is it located? Mmm, Hearts Horn Woods Park. You got it. All right, let's do the next one here. See if you get this. I hear water. what, What town are we in? Kind of looks like a fishing village, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Water looks a little muddy there. A couple of boats out there. You know where we are? Oh, look, right there. Oh, look, it's the New York Waterways Ferry. Belford, which is part of Middletown. That's right, congratulations. Okay, let's do the next one here. Hmm, what and where is this? Oh, look at that crazy thing. What is that? little wooden footbridge over a little creek. Looks religious, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. All right, so what and where is this thing? Ah, it's Bud's Grave in Highlands. It's not really a grave. It's just a, an old institution that's been there forever. Now, can you name this cemetery? It's in the Jersey Bay Shore. It's a hill. Hill, that's a clue. You know? Yeah, Rose Hill Cemetery. Very good. You're doing really well. Got some more questions to go. Okay, here's your next question. What and where is this house? Now, I'll give you a clue. Patriot, a couple of Patriots actually lived in this house. They tried to burn this house down just before the Revolutionary War. You know where it is? You know what it is? Yeah, the Burroughs Mansion in Matawan. Okay, oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Look at that beach. What town is this beach located in? Do you know? Quickly, yeah, Union Beach. Very beautiful town, very beautiful beach. Okay, here's your next question. Ooh, look at that. What's the name of this park And this is operated by the Monmouth County Park System. They have some beautiful parks in the area. There's a bike trail there. Beautiful bike trail and and a lake where you can go canoeing. There it is. You can go fishing in there too. You can go hiking, walk your dog. Where is, or rather, what is the name 
of this park in the Jersey Bay Shore area. You know, here we go. Yeah, Thompson Park. Beautiful park if you haven't been there. All right. Name this estuary and the bridge that it crosses. Now, a lot of people call this a river, but it's not technically. Yeah, it's an estuary, but it's called Navasink River or Navasink River, some people call it. And then, so what's the name of the bridge? No, not Navasink Bridge. That goes to Red Bank. It's Oceanic Bridge, and it joins Middletown to Rumson. Okay, look, it's the Monmouth Museum. Question is, where is this museum located? There's a couple answers you could give. You could give the town, or you could give the actual location where it is. Really cool place. Lots of exhibits for kids and for adults. This particular exhibit is for kids, but I enjoyed it too. So do you know? Oh, look at that. That looks like fun, doesn't it? A little pirate ship of some kind. Yeah. A dinosaur. So where are we? Where is this? Yes, it's located at Brookdale College, which is in Lincroft, which is part of Middletown. All right, next question. Where are we hiking? There's about 51 acres of beautiful woodlands here, and this is a relatively easy pathway. There's not a lot of steep hills or anything like that. I have a feeling the Lenape Indians may have used this trail at one time. Ah, look, yeah, Papa Mora, he was the chief of the Lenny Lenape Indians a long time ago. So where are we? Yes, the Lenape Woods Nature Preserve in Atlantic Islands. Now, where are we? And where are we specifically? Come on. Yeah, fishing there, swimming there, boating there, some history there. Some old relics on the beach. You can go beachcombing there. What is it? Eh, Sandy Hook. Now, Sandy Hook is considered to be part of Middletown. Not sure if you knew that. Now, name this place and this location. This house is presumed to be haunted. <laughs> ah, Atlantic Highlands, that's where it's located. What is it? It is the Strauss Mansion. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. What battle was fought here during the Revolutionary War? It really was a turning point for the Revolutionary War. A lot of famous people fought in this war. A bunch of them eventually became presidents. So, what is the name of this battlefield? Any clue? Beautiful place. It's the Battle of Monmouth, or some say the Battle of Monmouth Courthouse. Ah, beautiful homes, beautiful scenery. What village of Middletown is this place in? What do they call this place, you know? Gorgeous area, beautiful. My dad used to ice skate on this pond when he was young. Vultures, ooh, they hang out here at the Navasink Library, that's right. Very historic place, the British march through here, it is. Navasink, Navasink. Now, look at this, a nighttime scene. Can you name this memorial? Beautiful memorial, and if you haven't seen it, please do go see it uh, uh, during the day or at night. At night, it's especially beautiful. So what do you think, what's the name? of this memorial to the victims of 9-11. It's called Memoria, and it's in Highlands, New Jersey. Okay, where is this <laughs> located? I have so much fun here. If you've got kids, or even if you don't have kids, you have got to come to this place. It's right on the tip of a peninsula almost that, that goes out into, into Raritan Bay and there's a fishing pier and there's lots of things to do and it's open at night and during the day, mostly in the spring and the summer and the fall. It's Keensburg Amusement Park in Keensburg. Oh my goodness. Name this facility. Can you do it? 
Oh, come on. Uh, you know what's in here? You know what's going on in here? This is the clam depuration plant in Highlands, New Jersey. Okay. Oh, look at that. Where is this water tower located? That's kind of a tough one. It's Hazlitt. Hazlitt in the Jersey Bay Shore. Okay. Many of you know what this is. So, what is it? I went out there in my boat. They chased me away. They said, get out of here, young man. You don't belong here. It's kind of scary, actually. I'm not going back there. You need special authority to get close to that place. It's out in the middle of Raritan Bay, or Sandy Hook Bay, actually. About two and a half miles out. Trains go out there. It's the Naval Weapons Station Earl. Right near Leonardo. Very cool place. All right, right near the Naval Weapons Station Earl is this. No longer functional, but what is it? Any idea? Any clue? Hmm, no longer works. It's kind of historic now. It actually moved it from one place to this place. So a lot of people don't know this is even there. It is the Conover Light Beacon in Leonardo, and again, it's no longer operable. Now this is kind of cool. I love this shot. What is it? This was pretty revolutionary years ago when it was first uh, developed and used. I love this thing. I love this shot, the way it kind of reflects and you sort of see rainbow images in there. And this is where you would find it. But what is it? Do you know? Yeah, it's a Fresnel lens that was once used at the top of the Twin Lights lighthouses in Highlands. All right, what is this place and where is it located? Really a lot of cool stuff in here. Again, if you haven't seen it, you really ought to stop by and take a look. Very, very interesting place. It is the Firefighters Museum in Keyport. I live right near it. All right, what's the name of this village in Middletown? Hmm, remember that? Remember that steer? You've seen this steer. I assume it's a steer. I wouldn't steer you in the wrong direction. Where are we? What's the name of this village? Again, it's part, there's a clue. So what's the name of this place? Part of Middletown. Middletown is big, they have lots and lots of villages. And here we go, it's Campbell's Junction, which is actually part of Belford, which is part of Middletown. Okay, where are we now? You know? Hmm? Come on. Ooh, it looks interesting, doesn't it? Ah, I see something out there that looks like water. Any clue? Come on, now you know what it is, right? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here's the answer for you. Okay. It's right below the Captain Joseph Azalina Bridge in the Highlands. Ooh. What and where is this? That's a strange tower. It, this tower is actually higher than the Twin Lights in Highlands. This tower is attached to a house that nobody lives in. This tower is right next to the Henry Hudson Regional High School in Highlands. What in the world is it? There's Henry Hudson Regional High School over there in the background. Strange place, man. Okay. Yeah, siren is a clue. Well, after 9-11, a new 100-foot-tall cellular communications tower was installed, and uh, it's for the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office for improved emergency services and communications among police and first responders. And according to some, the tower relays information from New York Air Traffic Control to McGuire Air Force Base regarding air traffic. Okay, that's me as a kid. 
It's about 1961. Where was I here in 1961? I'm drinking from a spigot, and now I'm at the same place. So where am I today? I haven't been here in more than 50 years when I shot this. So uh, there's, there's some kind of water down there. So where do you think I am? Ah, oh, that doesn't look good. Obviously, things have changed. Henry Hudson's ship, the Half Moon, was moored right out there in the bay quite a while ago. So what is the name of this, my friends? Come on. What's it called? Yeah, it's Henry Hudson Springs. Henry Hudson discovered the springs, and uh, it was about in 1809. No, it was before that, I think. I don't know when it was. What is this man who you saw on that plant earlier trying to catch? So you, you obviously, if you recognize him from the plant, you'll recognize what he's trying to catch. And these, these creatures are very elusive. Clams, they're fast. You got to catch them while <laughs> you can. Some things he throws away. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Where are these fireworks located? This was on the 4th of July. I see some boat masts there and lots of people. Do you know where we are? Boy, I love fireworks. Beautiful, huh? Look at that flag. Mm. Atlantic Highlands right on the harbor, right by the marina. Beautiful night. Okay, what's this crazy thing? Any idea? Well, it's, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it's supposed to be a very large, gigantic replica of a transistor. But right behind it is this place. It's deserted, completely deserted. There are weeds growing in the parking lot. So what in the world is it? It's in Homedale, and it's the AT&T Bell Labs facility that was a research and development place for about 40 years. Uh, it had 6,000 employees today. It's abandoned. All right, what and where is this place? This is a very old house. It is the Holmes Hendrickson House, circa 1754 in Homedale. All right, when and where can you visit this particular home garden, along with lots of other home gardens as well? Beautiful place. Some people have just so many plants. I kill plants all the time. I, I couldn't have a garden if I tried, unless it was a plastic garden. Well, you can visit another, a number of gardens during Keyport's annual garden walk. I hope you'll do that. Now, what is it? Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, eh, eh, you saw a little, oh, there it is. What is it? This is right over on the other side of the Highlands Bridge, right by Sandy Hook. Uh, just the north part of Seabright right now. I caught this one day. I was having lunch with a friend, and there it was. It's the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> no, it's not the Loch Ness Monster. Now, watch this. This is amazing. This creature was headed south, by the way. Oh, let me give you a close-up shot of that. Now, watch. Yeah, check it out. It is so cool. Yeah, it's a whale heading south. All right, this is beautiful. I love the sunsets. From where are we watching the sun set? So beautiful. I watched it for like an hour. Yeah, Skeleton Hill Island, which is just off Sandy Hook, right near Spermachetti Cove. Now, what's going on here? A lot of cars. Uh, actually, if you could hear music, you'd hear music playing. Big crowd of people. Obviously, it looks like a beautiful summer day. People are bringing in their chairs and food and drinks and listening to bands play. And uh, everybody is thanking the National Park Service for this wonderful day. What is it? Ah, it's the annual summer concert series, Sandy Hook every Wednesday. Okay. There's the sea streak. Uh, now, where is this boat presumably headed? Every morning, every hour, every afternoon, every evening. But in the morning, 
Where does this boat go? With a boatload of passengers, yeah. It's probably taking them to New York City. They're commuters. If you haven't ridden the Sea Street to take a day trip to New York City, you might do it sometime. It's a great place to visit, but you always want to come back. You can leave from Atlantic Highlands or Highlands. There it is, New York City. Now, where are we going? What beach are we going to visit? Love this little trail up to the beach. This is a public beach, no lifeguards, but the water is very clean and the beaches are, or the beach I should say, is fairly pristine. And people can fish here too occasionally. So, give you a clue, that Sandy Hook across the way. Where are we? That's Sandy Hook Bay. Yeah, Papamora Point Park Beach. Beautiful beach. Now, where are we? Specifically, where are we? Takes a while to get here. You got to walk to this place on foot for quite a ways, and it was a hot day. I was exhausted by the time I got here. <laughs> oh, man. But the view... Once I got there, it was well worth the effort. Look at that. That's the ocean out there, and over there is Long Island, and if we keep going, you'll see uh, New York City and uh, Staten Island. Know where we are? We are at the very tip of Sandy Hook. That's where all the boats go in and out from New York Harbor out to the Atlantic Ocean. Now, this is interesting. What is the name of this park where Lenape Indians got clay to make pottery? And those are not the Lenape Indians. Those are, yes, Clay Pit Creek. Go figure. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Where is this St. Patrick's Day parade? What town? So much fun. They have so much fun in this town. A lot of restaurants here, a lot of things to do, boat ramps, antique stores, you name it. Great shopping, great place, great people. Mmm, Keyport, Keyport, just off Route 117 of the Garden State Parkway. Where are these gardens and what are they called? And it surprises me that so many people have not been to these gardens in the Jersey Bay Shore. Very peaceful, very beautiful. You're only seeing a small piece of it right here. There's a greenhouse you can go into. There's bonsai trees. It's gorgeous. Deep Cut Gardens in Middletown if you haven't been there, you gotta go. All right. Where is the oldest cemetery in our area? There's a clue right there. Really is the oldest cemetery in the Jersey Bay Shore. At least that we know of. And it's conveniently located, but hardly anybody knows it's there. It's the Throckmorton Lippin Taylor burying ground and it's located right behind the Middletown Police Department. All right, this was a very somber moment. What and where is this memorial? Now we were here earlier in the program, but we didn't see this memorial.
It's the Monmouth County Memorial to 9-11 victims, which is located at Mount Mitchell in Atlantic Islands. Now, what is this as seen from the Atlantic Ocean? Looks like an island, doesn't it? It's the hills of highlands in Atlantic Highlands. What our ancestors must have seen. Now, this is interesting. What's the name of this park and what is found in it? Take a look. See if you can get a clue. What are they finding in this park? Can you see it? Horsey Park, and they find fossils here all the time. Now, what is the actual name of the old stone church in Navasink? Or Navasink, as some people say. Very old church, very beautiful church. cemetery right behind it. It's All Saints Parish House, erected in 1865. Well, I hope you have had fun playing What Do You Know About the Jersey Bay Shore in 48 Questions. I had a ball. Hey, our Jersey Bay Shore may be just what you need for a vacation getaway, even if you live here. And if you don't live here, then you can create your own adventure by coming to the New Jersey Bay Shore whenever you feel like it. JerseyBayShore.com where you'll find all kinds of information. Thanks everybody for playing our game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Jersey Bayshore Country. I'm your host, John Schneider. Bye-bye.